Hello and welcome back to another Ebenezer Extension episode. This week we're going to be looking at the theme of worship. Because if you remember our midweek episode, you'll know that the people praised Jesus as he entered Jerusalem. And when the, the Pharisees tried to tell him to stop his disciples from praising him, Jesus said that if they stopped praising, even the rocks would cry out. Worshipping God is a wonderful part of being a Christian, and there are many different ways that we can worship him. Worship isn't limited to just singing on a Sunday. Worship is everything we do which praises God and pleases him. This includes singing and celebrating in church, but can also mean what we do in our lives. Acts of service and love to others can be a form of worship that's pleasing to him. So we're going to pause the video here and take a moment to look at this week's worksheet. Well, I hope that was helpful. We just have a few more tips on how to worship before we finish. First, while it's easy to focus on worshipping God when we're singing in church, we should also make an effort to worship him with our whole lives. When we're doing schoolwork or sharing a meal with others or doing good things for people in need. When we're working on a challenging task, we can still praise God and dedicate our work to him and thank him for giving us the strength to get through it. When we go to eat or drink, we can worship God. We can uh, thank him and praise him for the wonderful gifts he gives us. Uh, and enjoy the meal and fellowship with others as an act of worship to him. And it's also important that we worship God through the good deeds we do for others too. Our God loves the poor and needy and gave his life for all of us. So to worship him properly, we need to follow his example and give our lives and our resources to following him and helping others. Second, it, it can be really helpful to learn to worship God even when we don't feel like it. Um, there's a song that uh, captures this called Blessed Be Your Name and it talks about how we can choose to sing and bless God whether things are going good or bad for us. It can be really tough to sing praises and worship when things are going bad, when we're struggling ourselves, but it can be really comforting to come back to these truths that God, our God stays the same, yeah, that he is always on our side and he's seeking the good of his people. Praising him for this, even when it's hard, can be really helpful and remind us of his wonderful deeds and amazing character. And lastly, it's really important that we always keep the focus on God in our worship. Uh, there's another great song uh, by a musician called Matt Redman uh, called The Heart of Worship, where he sings about getting back to what is at the heart of worshipping God. He says that he's sorry for what he's made of it, because it's all about God and not about him. In all aspects of our lives, we can, we can be selfish and, and self-centered. We can think it's all about us. And this is true for worship too. We can focus on how worship is making us look or how we're feeling. And we can forget that the main purpose of our worship is to focus on God and sing praises because of how amazing and wonderful he is. He's the one who made us and saved us and we should remember that when we sing praises for his glory, that it's all for him and not for us. Mm -hmm.